Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Greetings one and all. A partly cloudy sky out there right now in the sleep type weather cam. Temperatures today warming up into the lower to middle 80s across the tri-states. And we have dry weather across the area right now as well with a very sunny afternoon. Temperatures ramped on up into the 80s rapidly. Here are your weather headlines for the next couple of days. This is what we're going to be looking for. One more day of warm and windy weather that will last on through tomorrow afternoon. Rain chances will be increasing as we head on into tomorrow night. We're looking at a cold front that's going to move right across the region. Behind that front, we'll get much colder air in here beginning Thursday. Highs will fall from the 80s that we had this afternoon on into the 50s for highs later on Thursday. And that will last on into the weekend as well with several chances of showers and thunderstorm. Current temperatures generally in the 80s from west east from Kirksville. It's 81 for you, 82 here in Quincy, 88 in Macomb. You're up to 89 earlier this afternoon. It's 83 in Jacksonville, 85 down in Pittsfield, and 82 degrees in Hannibal. So warm weather across the entire region. Out the airport, sunshine reported, 82 degrees. The winds are out of the south at 13 miles an hour. The barometric pressure currently at this hour is steady, and we are looking at highs today area-wide in the 80s, 84 Generally speaking, not the record, though. The record for the date, 1936. You have to go way back to 1936 to find a high of 90 degrees, the record high here in Quincy. So we're close, just not warm enough. That's the bottom line at this point. But we are going to see 80s again tomorrow. We have 80s extending all the way back out into Kansas right now. 82 in Wichita. It's 80 in Kansas City and 80 down in Springfield, Missouri. But you can see rapidly as the further west you go, the colors change on the map. We run into colder air back behind that frontal boundary that currently runs from generally Minneapolis back down west of Des Moines and on into northwestern Kansas. Temperatures back in the 40s there in Rapid City, South Dakota. So across the region right now, a couple thunderstorms trying to pop up up into Iowa should stay north of us. We are going to go with a partly cloudy sky tonight. Warm weather on tap again for tomorrow as well. That front will take its time getting here, but it'll slowly nudge eastward as we go through the next 24 hours. A couple showers and thunderstorms possible later on by tomorrow evening. The bulk of the rain, though, will move through with that front as we get into the overnight hours tomorrow night on into Thursday. And then low pressure is going to settle right across the region, bringing us good periods of rain on into the weekend. Mostly clear to partly cloudy tonight. It'll be a mild one, low somewhere in the middle 60s. Winds stay up there gusting out of the south near 25 miles an hour. Tomorrow, 82 for a high, possibly a late day storm or shower. Better chances as we head into the nighttime hours. Winds gusting out of the south at 25 miles an hour. Thursday, here you go. Here's the rude awakening. Temperatures in the 50s on Thursday. Showers and storms lasting on into Friday with highs in the lower 50s. Overnight lows Thursday night into Friday somewhere right around 39 or 40 degrees. As we head on into the weekend, it's damp. It's cool. Lots of clouds around. Temperatures start to warm up slowly but surely by Monday, though. Back into the upper 60s on Monday. 71 by next Tuesday, but between now and next Tuesday, we have a lot of cold air to deal with and a lot of rain coming our way as well. Some areas could see two to three inches locally in the area, in the tri-states as we head on into Saturday morning. Well, it was a great day today to play baseball or to get outside and play oh, yeah. any sports. We're going to send things over to Chris Dewar right now.